Hello, hello everybody, welcome back to the EWA channel, it's your boy Axel, and today I'm coming at you with a very nice 2 versus 2 match. Um, of course, the version that we are going to see tonight, uh, to look at it, uh, to look at tonight, is going to be version 1.09, an uh, absolutely beautiful version. Um, and yeah, I just love it. Of course, we are going to uh, look at the replay in the HD edition, which is uh, very nice as well. We've got for you a 2v2 today on the map of Dune. And right before we get into the video, make sure that you guys are subscribed to our channel. Let's hit that 300 subs already. And uh, yeah, only you guys can do it. And it is for free. So yeah, let's get straight into the video without further ado. Uh, we've got Cartage right here, spawning as Man of the West, starting with two, uh, three farms, uh, going into the barracks, and we've got <coughs> um, Traki from the Clan Boys, absolutely amazing player as well, uh, starting with two Goblin Caves, of course, spawning as Goblins, um, two Goblin Caves, uh, and three Tunnels. In the top right side, we've got uh, one of the Reckon uh, clan boys uh, spawning as goblins as well with the beautiful blue color uh, going with two tunnels, uh, three tunnels actually sending this builder to the top right position and going for a very forward tunnel right now. We've got the fourth uh, fourth man player, I think it is Excellenus. Uh, absolutely amazing player and he's a streamer as well so uh, make sure you guys check him check him check him out <clears throat> I'm sorry my voice is a bit dodgy today <laughs> um, I'm kind of uh, I don't know something wrong with my voice I think I shouted a lot uh, so sorry about that in advance so yeah Axelonus is actually going for uh, stable going for an archery range as well and uh, he does need to have some archers on the field fairly quickly because he's been pressured by um, Cartage. And uh, yeah, right now I think uh, Rackham is actually going to put some pressure on his opponent uh, very early in the game. Cartage, uh, the man of the West player, coming with some goblin caves, but he is in a lot of trouble himself. Uh, with one Gondor soldier and I think it did lose a builder very early in the game as well So it is going to be very problematic for him And I think it is yeah, it is a mirror match between those guys Which is more even uh, even more fun Keep together. Ooh, Nice trample right there from Excellenus Taking a lot, a lot of soldiers and a lot of archers down. With only one battalion of uh, Gondor soldiers. Uh, Gondor riders. Gondor knights. What's going on? And it is going to be very interesting. I really, really love two versus two games. <clears throat> Even more than uh, three versus three. Because it is a lot more uh, intense than a three v three match. In a three v three match, you can count a lot on your teammates. Which in a, in a two v two, you can't really. Of course. Yeah, let's look at the power points real quick. Uh, Reckon Selenos, I think. I, I don't know his name. Uh, the Goblin player <laughs> in the top right side. Uh, got himself the bats for start. Got himself uh, 450 command points at the moment. Uh, Traki, the second Goblin player, the pink Goblin player, got himself 400 command points uh, with the bats as well. Cartridge got uh, spawning his man, got himself the elf and wood. We should probably use it there, uh, I think. 
400 command points and uh, Excelon has gotten so 500 command points. <clears throat> but look at how much, how many goblins are in uh, in uh, Rackton's base. And uh, Trucky is doing the right thing, which is uh, trying to shut down the goblin productions very uh, goblin production very early in the game. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, that's the most important thing. At least in 1.09, you don't want your goblin player, uh, your goblin opponent, to um, have a lot of production buildings, uh, production buildings on the field. Ooh, but look at what a cheeky um, tunnel right there from Trucky. Absolutely amazing spot, and he's using the K pads right now. <laughs> Those Thunder Knights just can't run away. To save their lives. I think a tainted land has been thrown down from Trucky as well. Oh, and uh, and Trucky is going for the builder right now as well. Oh, it's gonna be close. I think the builder is definitely going down. Yep, one builder is down from Excelinus. Didn't manage to save it, didn't manage to build the wall hub. Now Trucky got himself uh, a lot of Spiderlings, two battalions actually, I should say. Right. Some Rohirrim is joined the field from Exelonus. And uh, it is very intense match right now. I reckon we would see a lot of power points uh, used very soon. Men, uh, Elven Wood on top of an elven wood I think yeah I think Cartage did use the elven wood earlier um, and then Exelonus did uh, manage to spawn summon his uh, elven wood on top of it to cancel the leadership and uh, get himself some leadership we've got the first hero of the game uh, on the field right now and it is Theoden but he can't really go <laughs> Uh, in the middle of those uh, goblin army. Exelonus is going for a nice push as well. Top left side, uh, bottom left side. But Trucky just won't stop. Look at this um, tunnel work he does. He's putting his tunnel very, very cheeky and very, like, um, he's hiding them very well in spots that he won't necessarily look to uh, look for. Although Exelonus now have a lot of Rohirrim. And he's going for a very big push. Yep, yeah, he did manage to take a barracks down. As well as putting some pressure on those Gondor Knights. I'm not sure who's faster. I think Rohirrim are faster. But they didn't manage to actually take down those Gondor Knights. Ooh, Theoden needs to be careful. Can't charge straight into the army. Right now, Card uh, Cardage uh, does have some Rohirrim as well on the field. And yeah, two cave bats on top of each other. Ooh, I did hear some hobbits. Exelon is spawning his hobbits right now. Summoning his hobbits right now. And... Is he going for the fortress? This mad lad. No, he's not going for the fortress. He's going for the stable. Cartage is uh, <coughs> spawning this Tom Bombadil. The great Tom Bombadil. Um, but he does need to take care of those hobbits. And otherwise, yep. Oh, stables is unfortunately going down. As my, uh, <laughs> as you can hear my game ranger in the area. And uh, the background, sorry. Uh, I think Trucky does have himself the scavenger as well. Very nice. Tom Bombadil soon is gonna wander off. But those spider riders would definitely take uh, care of those hobbits. A wizard arrives precisely when Ooh, he means I to. I hope you heard. A wizard arrives precisely when he means to. And he, he's 
look at this Gandalf. Gandalf coming straight away and uh, trying to take care of those uh, goblins who try to take down the stables. And right now both Trucky and uh, Cartouch are... Oh, Cartouch is not actually... Only Trucky is trying to push uh, Excelenus' face. Oh, look at the trample right there from those spider riders. Wrecking those uh, goblin warriors. Gandalf probably will use his wizard blast right there. Oh my gosh. Nice level 3. And, uh, taking care of a lot of goblins. But the spam is not... Uh, the, uh, the spam from Traki does not stop. But we'll probably need to switch some time to some uh, pikes or maybe trolls even. Boromir is joining the field. Argon is here as well. I think Argon would be a lot more effective against uh, rather than Gandalf. Sorry, but Gandalf now can use his a. Uh, Lightning strike. Argon is using his uh, Blade Master. And look at how much Rohirrim we just killed. <coughs> Gandalf needs to be very careful. I'm wondering if uh, Cartage does have the heal available. No, he doesn't, but he will have it pretty soon. Yep, he does have it available right now. As Gandalf uh, uses his uh, Lightning Strike. But I don't know if those. Uh, Gondor soldiers can actually chase Aragorn. Aragorn, uh, Gandalf needs to run away, I think. <laughs> Look at how many spider riders are here. From uh, the top red side player, Goblin player. That's just going for a put right now. Very nice push as well. Using the Elven Wood, I think Xenonus does have the Elven Wood to counter it. And he does need to use it. I'm not sure why he's not using it. Some Bombadil is, uh, has been fun. <laughs> oh my god, look at him knocking back Eden. Uh, there is a Gandalf and, uh, and a Boromir. In uh, Cartage base right now, with not a lot of unit units though. Boromir can use his uh, one of wonder ability. Look at how many goblin warriors are. On the field, and I think, oh my gosh, Argon just died right there by Gandalf. And the Goblin player, Goblin players are continuing to fight each other. Gandalf needs to run away. He doesn't want. He wouldn't want to commit right there. A lot of arrow towers. And I think between the Goblin players, the Goblin players, it's. About who spams more, who is uh, better at spamming. Ooh, another nice trample. <laughs> Look at how, how many goblins Trucky have on the field. Mental. He's choosing to go finally for some half trolls. Using his art as uh, spider riders, his spider riders as archers as well, because he knows that he won't want to <laughs> charge into those uh, pikes. 
Let's look at the bottom left side as well. Gandalf is knocking back Boromir. And uh, Gandalf is in a very low health right now. We should probably need to get on his uh, Shadow Fax. Uh, Exelonus is beaconing. For his teammate to use his uh, Cave Bats right there. But I think unfortunately Gandalf is, yep, Gandalf is going down and the worm came up a bit too late. Oh my god, but it does do an amazing uh, damage. Two battalions of pikes as well as two battalions of go uh, goblin warriors are in the mid right side. Glorious charge is almost available for uh, Quartage. But it doesn't have, I'm sure it doesn't have a lot of resources. Selenus does have 750 uh, command points at the moment. At the moment. <coughs> Rocky does have 750 command points as well. I think that's the limit in this, uh, those kind of games. Cottage does only have 475 to the 750 command points from Excelonus. Ooh, yep, Traki is definitely going for some uh, cave trolls. He does need to retreat with the spiders though. He don't, he won't. He can't allow himself to lose them. <coughs> Sorry about that, that's my game ranger in the background. Boromir, Horn of Gondor. Has been used. Some hobbits has been spawned. Uh, summoned. <laughs> Ooh, and look at the fireworks. And it's selling us. Oh my gosh. Look at those spider artists actually putting work. And I think, yep, they are level 2, so they can just recharge themselves. <laughs> Hobbits are chasing uh, Boromir. Well, Hobbits have been uh, thrown down right there. Try and save a builder. Wrong with Zelenus. Shilob is on the field, and this is what I'd like to see. Alright, you got my attention right now. And of course, Sheila in uh, 1.09 got herself uh, a very nice ability. Got the uh, Indilter, <coughs> which of course you all know. Got the Stinger, got the Tunnel, and got the Web of, I don't know how to say it, <laughs> Triples enemy units in uh, Spider Webs. Kills Sheila based on total damage. <coughs> and I might need to. Uh, Close my game ranger if it will continue. <coughs> Shilob is now running, running around, trying to cut some damage, and I think. Oh my gosh. We got an even better hero. <laughs> and it is coming in the shape of the dragon. We've got the dragon lord, lord on the field from Traki. And now I understand why he only peeled all those goblins. Oof. Yep, the dragon can be very, very devastating. Rangers are now on the field from uh, Axelanus. And I think Cottage is in a very bad shape, to be honest with you guys. But now that Dragoth is on the field, I think he will do better. Uh, Traki could help him a bit. <laughs> Little Chilop just running over those goblins, although that wasn't the most impressive. <laughs> Sh 
heal up. You absolute beauty. We've got another Gandalf. I think it's uh, Xenonus. Dragon Lord is here. Look at how much damage it does with Dragon Lord. Going for some tunnels and uh, beautiful stuff like that. Gandalf would be very dangerous once he gets his um, starry light. I think. Ooh, very nice. I think, yeah. Um, Cloudbreak has been thrown down right now and very, very strong push from uh, Traki. But right now, his spawning is uh, warm. But the Rome didn't manage to actually get a lot of uh, hits. We've got some uh, Dunedain Rangers to deal with the Dragoth, and I think Dragoth could be in a lot of trouble right there. Ooh, need to run away with the Dragoth. I don't know why those Dunedain's not hitting him. Ooh, yep, Dragoth is going down, unfortunately, for Traki, of course. And someone is really close to uh, 25 power. Traki is uh, very close as well. Oh, what is it? Traki is... No, it's not. Traki did use his uh, warm somewhere. But I don't know where though. <laughs> Two warms on top of each other. That's something you like to see. Trogoth is coming out for uh, seven. Uh, I don't know how to say his name once again. <laughs> I think a running call, a glorious charge is uh, available. Yep. And uh, Shiro is just she's just uh, roaming around right now. Look at how many goblins, wo goblin warriors are here. Shiro could be in very big trouble if those guys manage to hit. Looks like Traki is going for another push. But Rogoth, I think, would be able to take care of all of those goblins, especially when there are... Oh my god, especially when there are clumps like that. Look at that. Gandalf is here as well. In the top left side, and we've got a summon dragon ability. And this is going to be devastating. Oh my god, look at the damage right there from the, dra uh, the dragon. And look at how beautiful he is. I wish there were not weren't trees. Look at that. A black dragon. Very nice. And I think I did hear um, another drug up. They're above the same level, actually. A fireball would be very nice. Yep, and a fireball is available. Ooh, but he's actually catching uh, Shilob right there. Amazing. <laughs> oh my god, Wildman, Salmon right there and a bombardil on top of them bombardil of course can use the sonic song 
Yep, and he does. <laughs> Ooh, but one Dragoth is in a lot of trouble, of course. The red, uh, the blue goblin player. <laughs> another, another Drake. Look at how much dragons. Absolutely amazing. And I think this board is in a very great danger. Dragoth cannot be around. Because one hit and it's going down. Let's see how much damage can the dragon actually do to the fortress. We've got a giant right there. I think... Oh my god, I think Cottage Fort is about to go down as well. Looks like a um, Selena's Fort is about to go down. Aragorn is close to dying. I think he will die, most definitely. Yep, Aragorn just died right there. Ooh, but a nice arrow volley. Trying to delay those guys from taking the fort down. The goblin fort has definitely gone down. Gone down. Oh, I put it there first, as Tom Bombadil says. But I think actually the man fortress. Let's see. Could be interesting. Tom Bombadil is the only chance for Xelanus to take the fort down and he didn't manage to do it actually. And the man fortress is standing. But right now ballistas are coming. And I think one shot and this fort will be closed, maybe two. Dragoth would definitely take it down. There is no rebuild in 1.09 of course. That was a nice shout. That was a nice play. But the question is if the Man of the West player, Cartage, does have himself a builder. And I can't see him. Oh my gosh, Drogath is so close to dying. One fireball and one of them will die. The pencil's getting it first. Ooh. No, no, no. Ooh, that's so close. Oh, and one dragon is going down. And Traki with a good move right there, chasing one of those Drogoths. Ooh, but he's so close to taking to dying as well. Oh, that was close. And yep, uh, the Men of the West player Cottage does have himself a builder and he's building a fort right now, which the Goblin player does not. Xelenos doesn't have the money to support his, uh, his teammate, I don't think. And another nice, very nice use of the warm. Traki is expanding all the way over to his uh, um, enemy base, where it, the base used to be at least. <laughs> Glorious charge has been used from uh, uh, King Theoden, and already level 10. Just want to remind you guys, <clears throat> charging straight into all of those. Uh, Gondo soldiers with a level 6 battalion of Rohirrim. This worm. Just get another one before you spawn off. Oh, very nice use of the worm. I think that was a level 3 farm as well. Nice catch right there. Rohirrim. Right. Ro Rohirrim are level 7. I 
does look like the map control is going for um, Rocky right now. Look at how much tunnels he's, built, he's uh, been able to build. Well, of course, Dor uh, Drogoth can make sure to build the first. Bottom earthquake has been used, taking a lot of uh, units down, not units, uh, buildings down. But Drogoth absolutely racking all those Rohirrims. The second fort has been built. Darkness is coming down as well. Now the blue player is actually trying to play with some uh, spider links, but that's a major step back. And yeah, those guys are, are actually calling it a GG. What an amazing match between both of those guys. I really, really enjoyed it. And yeah, that was it pretty much. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been your boy Axel. Right before we end the video, make sure you guys are subscribed uh, to the channel, like the video and share it if you want uh and yeah it's been your boy axel stay safe stay young and peace out